always yeah. been struck by something that the British sci-fi author Sir Arthur C. Clarke said, quote, two possibilities exist, whether we're alone in the universe or we're not. Both are equally terrifying. Do you agree with that? Yeah, well, I don't invest an emotion in scientific discoveries other than joy. No, I, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't feel sad or 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 disturbed or have angst. Uh, but I can tell you that um, I, I'm, I wouldn't be terrified if the universe were filled with life. I mean, that'd be great. We're here, yeah. uh, so I would be. That would be just fine. Let's learn more about them. It would be a biological frontier, okay? And so we're, we're right now stockpiling catalogs of exoplanets. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that graphic is, might be showing some uh, variance among them compared to our own solar system. Uh, uh, correctly shown without Pluto, by the way. <laughs> Just a credit to your graphic art, uh, artists there. And so. Um, I, I think the catalog now is rising through 5,000 exoplanets. Yeah. And not long ago, that number was zero. Yeah. And if other if life is going to live anywhere, we think that they'll live on planets, not on stars, all right, or, or in the vacuum of space. So that's a start, because we've been looking for life for decades. But also, we're made of the most common ingredients in the universe, in rank order, hydrogen, oxygen carbon, nitrogen, we're made of that. Mm -hmm. And those ingredients are in rank order the same everywhere in the universe. So Earth was highly opportunistic chemically when Earth got, when life on Earth got started. So it would be unrealistic to require or demand of the universe that we are alone in right. the universe. It, given what so, you just said, it seems to, it, it, of course there has to be life elsewhere. We just haven't yet seen it. At least you and I haven't. Um, <laughs> you told add, me. Wait, add to it a quick point yeah. that life got started on Earth almost as quickly as it possibly could have. Mm. You know, after there's a period of what we call heavy bombardment, where Earth was still gathering material from the solar nebula that formed the, the, the solar system. And so it's too hot. You let that cool, start the clock, then about 100 million years later, which is small compared to the four and a half billion year lifetime of Earth, that's when we have the earliest evidence of single-celled life. So life got started quickly, with the same ingredients, so who, who are we to say we're alone in the universe? That's irresponsible. Yeah. You told Bill Maher, quote, uh, I want to meet the aliens. I just need better evidence than what's been presented, better evidence than simple eyewitness sworn testimony. The sworn testimony you're talking about is from David Grush and two Navy pilots. Uh, Grush testified that there is a secret government program that actually has uh, human, non-human remains and non-human spacecraft and is studying it. Uh, obviously, his testimony alone doesn't do it for you. Oh, well, so science doesn't doesn't advance by eyewitness testimony sworn on one book or another. It just, right. that's just not how we operate. We operate on, observations are important, but even better than observations are experiments if you have access to the thing that you're describing. And so uh, if, if he's got aliens in a locked box somewhere and no one can see it, that's the same thing to a scientist as having no alien at all. If, they, if it can't be shared with the scientific community. It's not how we discover objective truths in the, in the world. No, By the way, no, I don't, I, 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 I agree, but it's just been a subject on Capitol Hill this week, well, of of much debate and talk because so many yeah. senators and congressmen are like, wait a second, we need transparency here, and they're getting pushback from intelligence well, I, and military. I have a comment on that, uh, just briefly, but the, the um, with regard to, to, uh, if you're going to say there, there. Oh, by the way, to say there's non-human remains, uh, that could be a mouse right? or dog. Mm -hmm. I mean, every other life form on Earth is non-human. So the statement "non-human remains" does not impress me at all, because any other life form is a non-human remains. So, so if we want to parse the words as spoken, to me, that uh, I'm not impressed by that. Um, but uh, uh, this bit about transparency. Uh, yeah, we should, the, the military ought to study UAPs, and that's what they've been doing. 
Yes, UAP is just a rebranding of UFO. Who are they kidding, right? Okay, I think they try to just boost it a notch in respectability, but it's really the same thing, the unidentified aerial phenomenon. Okay, so if I want the mil if there's something we don't understand flying around, yes, military, go check it out. And if it's a threat to us, do something about it. That's what we pay you for. That's why we have a, a, a U.S. military. There's a Pentagon mm -hmm. that's that's charged with figuring this out. And I would expect some of that to be classified on a level where, no, it's government. I don't want the government transparency there if it's going to put us more at risk. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.